I think you're going to like this picture. Love That Bomb. Starring Bob Cummings. Chuck, is the uh, Casanova of the camera up yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I heard him singing in the shower. Oh, must be in a good humor. Who did he have a date with last night? Jean? Roberta? Norma? No, I think it was Shirley Marie and Colette. Oh, what an example to set for a teenage boy. Yeah. <laughs> you don't <know> me. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I'm glad he's in a good mood. I'm going to ask him to take me fishing this weekend. Well, well I wouldn't count on it. According to this morning's paper, there's going to be a big fashion show at the Palm Springs Biltmore this weekend. Now what's that got to do with Uncle Bob? Well, 25 of the most beautiful girls in Hollywood are going to model clothes, ranging from evening gowns to bikinis. You think Uncle Bob will want to be there? <laughs> I ask some pretty silly questions sometimes, don't I? <laughs> Cheer up, son. You may miss a fishing trip, but you're going to see a great performance by a superb ham, uh, actor. Yeah, Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob. You don't think he's gonna come right out and admit that he wants to go to Palm Springs because the models are gonna be there, do you? No, I guess not. No, not Uncle Devious. He will make going to the desert an absolute necessity. If possible, he will get us to suggest it. Now, what angle do you think he'll use? I wonder. I know. He'll get a cold, a sudden devastating cold that requires dry desert air. Good morning, Good morning, Mark. Bob. Oh, hi, Uncle Bob. Good morning, Church. <laughs> Thank you, morning. Er, Margaret. Morning, Chuck. <laughs> Thank you, Margaret. Meal. What was that? Eggs or oatmeal? Oh, yeah, just a little oatmeal, Mark. I don't seem to have much of an appetite these days. Say, <laughs> 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 you ought to do something about that cold. Well, is it noticeable? <laughs> Only when you laugh. <laughs> Got a cold, Uncle Bob? Uh, yeah, I, I think that's all it is, Chuck. You know Doc Jacobson. He thinks that I should... <laughs> 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 what is Dr. Jacobson? Chuck, please, please, don't upset your mom. What's this? Oh, nothing, doctor? Nothing, Margaret, nothing at all. Oh? <laughs> Doctors tickle me. <laughs> the way they tell you to blithely go away to the desert for a few days' rest. <laughs> they must think all their patients are millionaires. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, a fella can't just pick up and, and go off to the desert because his health is stable. Yeah. Would you let your mother talk? I'm oh, sorry. What'd you say? I say a fella can't just go away to the desert because his doctor thinks he should. <laughs> right? Mm, right. Talker, is 
is she? Mom. Hmm? Uh, yes, Dr. Jacobson thinks Uncle Bob ought to get away for a few days. Oh, oh Chuck, really? it, it's, not, it's nothing to be alarmed about. Just a little rest and change, that's all. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Then you can take Chuck fishing. <laughs> The <laughs> dampness, Margaret. She's dampness. But what, what I need is, is, is the dry desert air. Mm -hmm. And there goes fishing. Not necessarily. Well, I have yet to catch anything in the desert with a hook and line. Not with a hook, maybe, but your line comes in. All right. <laughs> Comedian. Well, I can get off a good one now and then. Take your word for it. Well. <clears throat> If it's the desert, there's only one place to go. That's right. Death Valley. <laughs> Say, that cold of yours seems to be getting worse. Death Valley? With those 20 mule teams kicking up all that dust? No good, huh? Oh, Margaret. For heaven's sake, you know there's nothing in Death Valley but scorpions and lizards and snakes and, 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 and Gila monsters. I'll bet none of them has a cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amusing. <laughs> you know, I get off a good one now and then. <laughs> well, you said that. I know, but it fits better now. <laughs> sympathy a guy gets around here. I'll see if I can contract pneumonia so you can really get hysterical. Oh, I'm sorry. I just think that... I'm not interested in what you think. <laughs> I just think you ought to go to Palm Springs. <laughs> Palm Springs? Um, I, I mean, you, you think so, Margaret? Oh, yes. That's a wonderful climate if you have a cold. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, a lot of good sunshine, dry desert air, and all those um, fine hotels. <laughs> I wonder, wonder where I should stay down there. How about the Biltmore? Maybe the, the Bilt. <laughs> I get off a good one now and then, too. <laughs> Yeah, Chuck, that's, that's not a bad idea at that. Hmm? Quite out of town, you know. But, but it has everything I want. Big, beautiful pool, big, beautiful rooms. Big, beautiful models. Had a little fun for yourselves, didn't you? <laughs> you had a ball. I thought I'd explode! <laughs> well, be my guest. Go ahead and explode. <laughs> Jack, how about that call? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dr. Jacobson thinks I ought to get away. <laughs> With 25 beautiful models. <laughs> 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 Hi, Cheryl. Uh, you're not scheduled for this morning. Yes, I know. I just want to talk to Bob. He's not in yet. Oh. What do you want to talk to him about? Palm Springs. Oh, getting your bid in early, huh? Mm -hmm. I don't blame him. The 24 other girls are on. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Not after last night. If you're waiting for me to ask what happened last night, I'm asking. <laughs> Bob was so sweet. He had to leave early, and at first I was upset, but not after he explained it. We were sitting there, just the two of us. Oh, it was simply wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, Bob, must you go? It's only 9 o'clock. Oh, sure, darling. Nothing but the most important appointment could could tear me from your beautiful arms. What's more important? 
Uh-huh. Uh, our government. Uh, a matter of state. Uh, I'm meeting with a foreign ambassador. Oh, thrilling. Yeah, isn't it? But you'll see me in Palm Springs. Oh, surely. Though the desert blossom with beautiful women as with wildflowers after a rain, I will see only you. What am I sighing for? I spent the night scrubbing the kitchen. <laughs> well, I think I'll just wait for Bob in the studio. Foreign ambassador. Probably a tamale from Tijuana. <laughs> Or ravioli from Rome. <laughs> Buongiorno, Schultz. Hi, Marie. Are you posing this morning? No, I just want to talk to Roberto about the Palm Springs. Will you puzzle him for me? Well, he's not in yet. I uh, guess he had to work pretty late last night. Oh, see, the poor darling. He had to leave me at 11 for, for some important appointment. He did, huh? See. Si. Oh, at first I was so angry, but he explained it. Oh, see, si. and how he explained it. Explain. How, how, how? Explain. How, how, how? No, please, Roberto. Ti imploro non andare. It is not even at 11. Oh, Marie, my little Venetian ambassador of loveliness. Only the most important appointment could tear me from your beautiful arms. What is this important appointment? Uh-huh. Uh, well, I've been the victim of a robbery. No. Yes, and I plan to confront the thief tonight at 11. Oh, Roberto, will you be in danger? Grave danger, Carmilla. Give me strength. <laughs> give, give me courage. <laughs> give me strength. I did. What else do you need? What else have you got? I mean, I better not let that thief get away, should I? Oh, Roberto, will you see me in Palm Springs? Oh, no. But there will be 24 other girls. Oh. Were there a thousand, a thousand thousand, and each more beautiful than Helen of Troy, I would still see only you. Que meraviglioso <laughs> lui. I will wait for him in the studio. Yeah, yeah, you do that, Ravioli Ambassador. <laughs> this should be interesting. <laughs> uh, bonjour, Chelsea. <laughs> oh, would you tell him? He isn't in yet. Oh. Well, I want to talk about you. Palm Springs. We. Oui. We oui is right. You're becoming quite a crowd. <laughs> uh, what time? Did the Schmaltz Express get to your station last night? <laughs> Je ne comprends pas. Schmaltz Express? Monsieur Bobby, he was avec vous last soir? <laughs> oh, oui. Yeah, all of you. <laughs> what time vous? Oh, uh, he did not arrive until after 11. At first I was angry. Oh, but, but he explained it? Oh, la la la. Yeah, let mother live a little too. <laughs> Oh, he took me for a moonlight drive in his new car. Then we stopped to look at the stars. What else? And we look and look and look. Bobby, is it not beautiful? Sensational. Will it be like this in Palm Springs? Oh, it's even better, yeah. <laughs> Will you see me there? Of course. There will be so many beautiful girls at this hotel. How you say, built more? Well, not more than you, honey. I mean, uh, no matter how many beautiful girls are there, I will see only you because you've stolen my heart, you sly little thief. Oh, Bobby. You saved your belt still, Buck. I will unfasten it. I am safe now that we are far. <laughs> oh, that 
Bobby. Or... Walk along. I will uh, wait for him in the studio. Why not? Bob Gordon is the only man in Palm Springs. It is not what he said to me. Oh, why don't you give up? Let me get out of it. He left it on The United Nations is now in session. <laughs> well, that's what he gets for dating three girls in one night. Oh, now, honey, don't think like that. Oh, for heaven's sake. Don't clam up on me. There's a very good reason why I couldn't get to your apartment till 2 o'clock this morning. A swing shift? <laughs> You're just going to the studio and cool off. Boss, I wouldn't do that. Schultz. It's not cool in there. Schultz. Uh, I'll be right with you, honey. Hey, you Schultz. 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 What was that? Oh, what a tangled web we weave. When first we practiced to deceive, I know. What was it? Last night's web. <laughs> what? The wildflower, the ambassador, and the thief. <sighs> Schultz, would you... <laughs> now, what will I do for a date in Palm Springs? <laughs> I need to get away, boss. Schultz, that's it. You can go. <laughs> Fishing with Chuck. <laughs> oh, girls, 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 girls. <laughs> What an array of beauty to greet these tired old eyes. Girl! Look, girl, wait a minute! Look, girl! <laughs> and so now all 25 of them have gotten together and organized the DDT. DDT? Don't date the two-timer. Uh, <laughs> you heard what they called him. Yeah, what? Well, they said, it's a lovely hat. Hmm? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, what'd you say it was? A, a conky on your ass? No, it's a hat. <laughs> yeah, a cocktail hat. <laughs> oh, never mind. What did they call him? Well, well, they said that he was nothing but a great... Bob, don't you know what they called you either? In French, English, Italian, and Navajo. Navajo? <laughs> yes. I have a new model named She Who Runs with Grace of Panther Jones. Scratches like one, too. Oh, Bob, what's this? Trouble with your model? Oh, I love that wide-eyed look. You mean you haven't heard enough from she who runs off at the mouth, Schultzy? <laughs> oh, I don't care. Go ahead and tell her. Tell her everything. Tell her all the intimate details. Chuck, leave the room. Chuck, stay here. <laughs> He's only 18. And just the right age to learn the truth about women. I only wish I'd known what I know now when I was 18. You did. Not about the gargantuan ingratitude, chicanery, and devious perfidy of their vainglorious and unparalleled cupidity. <laughs> this I want Chuck to understand. I'll get the encyclopedia. <laughs> I thought you were in college. No, I'm taking a pre-med course. Care to talk about anatomy? Chuck, leave the room. Chuck, sit down! <laughs> All right, what's he tell him? You saw those models when they first came into my office. Tell him what they learned from me. Chuck, leave the house. Chuck, sit down! <laughs> and you too, Margaret. Oh, I wouldn't think of leaving. All right, Schultz, tell him. What were those models when they first came in? Lumps of clay. That's what they were. Who molded them? Who worked with them tirelessly day after day? Night after night. Who? <laughs> Will you kindly be quiet and listen to Schultz? <laughs> All right, Schultz, tell him. 
Who took those drab, colorless moths and transformed them into brilliant, shimmering butterflies? Who? <laughs> well, who? You. It was me. <laughs> That's who. What thanks do I get? How do these creatures of my creation express their gratitude? I'll tell you. They boycott it. I'm telling the story. That's a rolling. <laughs> well, if they think they can outwit the master, they've got another thing coming. Well, oh, I gave them grace and style and charm, but this, I did not give them. And purposely. Master. Question. Schultze says, uh, it's my understanding that the models have organized against you. A uh, chain is only as strong as its weakest link. And when I get through melting down that weak link, the entire chain will crumble. And then they'll come crawling back to me one by one. Will I forgive them? Will I take them back into the sanctuary of my arms? No! <laughs> Oh, you are young. <laughs> Bobby, you tricked me. You said I was to pose for pictures. Colette, you are. Oh, I could have tricked you. I could have driven you elaborately up to Arrowhead, Big Bear, or Mount Baldy. But as some s sage once said, a tree is a tree and a rock is a rock. Shoot it on Mulholland Drive. <laughs> and uh, that's the doctrine I've been uh, spreading for years. What is this picture for? Oh, it's for the cover of, uh, of life. Now, honey, get a nice pose right here, if you will, please. That's it. Oh, you always do that so well. Fine, thank you. Turn just a little bit. Bobby, you picked me for the cover of Life magazine? Well, they wanted a group of models, but I convinced them that one star shines brighter alone. And what star can match the perfection of Venus? Oh, Bobby. Oh, Colette. No, no, don't, don't torture me. I'm already intoxicated with the very nearness of you. Help me be strong, Colette. Just, just, just push me away. Fight, yeah. girl, fight, girl. Save me for myself. Oh, don't let me breathe the heavy fragrance of your hair, or gaze into the azure pools of your eyes, or feel the searing delight of your lips, oh, but Bobby... or listen to the siren song of your voice, lest I lose all control and plunge headlong into the whirlpool of rapturous desire that beckons so enticingly. <laughs> I should have brought other girls. At least there would have been strength in numbers. But now it's too late. Now I'm a space. <laughs> we knew she was the weak link. A tree is a tree and a rock is a rock. And we knew your favorite, the rock. <laughs> now life can have the cover at once. Yes, take the picture. Well, go ahead, take it. Who brought film? Swanson was played by Joy Lansing, Colette Dubois by Lisa Gay, and Marie DiPaolo by Lita Milan. This is Bill Baldwin speaking.